Namaste. My name is Dr. Nitin Patil. Here I am to talk about a new pathway to perfect health. That is about urine therapy, also known as Shivambu therapy. Well, practically speaking, this is not a new path. This path has been followed by many, many people since older days all over the world. But as the time passes, we have forgotten many of such wonderful techniques which we need to ponder upon. Well, to begin with, let me introduce myself. I work as an executive director in our charitable institute named as Shivambu Health Research Institute. Founder of this institute is my father, Dr. Shashi Patil. He was the one who did a real pioneering research work in the field of Shivambu therapy since 1970. Because of his clinical evidence-based work, people lovingly called him Shivambu Maharshi. Most significant principle he followed in his life was whatever research he did in the field of Shivambu therapy, he practiced first on himself and then he imparted that knowledge to others. More than a doctor, he lived his life as a spiritual yogi. About his life journey, we will talk on some other day. Well, after our education, we two brothers joined the life mission of our father, Dr. Shashi Patil. Me and my younger brother, Dr. Sarang Patil, engaged in this clinical research on Shivambu for last 30 years and serving the people suffering from common cold to cancer. Also, I am happy to tell you that the third generation of Dr. Shashi Patil, that is my son, Dr. Sandesh Patil, has also joined this humanitarian mission. So before we get into the topic, a new pathway to perfect health, that is Shivambu therapy, we have to understand the Shivambu is not just a therapy, but it's a way of spiritual healing. However, healing like life in general is not so simple. Our physical body is not only the factor. Emotions, thoughts, spirituality, also influence our health. Therefore, let us begin by understanding one basic question. What do you want in life? If I ask you what do you want in life, some people will say bliss, joy, happiness, wealth, health. Nowadays, everybody has wealth but no health. So after facing this corona pandemic, certainly everybody will say health. Am I right? Yes. So let us understand this health first. What do you actually mean by the term health? Generally, it is said health means disease free body. Well, physically somebody is healthy and mentally always stressful. Would you call him healthy? No. That means, along with the physical arena, our mental status is also very important. Now, suppose somebody is physically fit, mentally very strong. You see him walking down the street, throwing stones at a roadside shop. Would you call such a person healthy? Would you call him healthy? No, of course not. Which means, along with the fitness of body and mind, total health includes our behavior with others. Socially, how we behave with others is also an important factor in understanding the term health. Let us understand the meaning of health defined by WHO. According to WHO, the World Health Organization, the term health is state of well-being at the physical, mental, social and spiritual level. Now, this fourth term spiritual level, WHO has added. But what does it mean? What it has connection with the health? Spiritual health means thankful for whatever we got in our life. The person who is spiritually healthy lives in the spirit of gratitude. Do not complain about anything. We have to be accepting whatever we have received. Many times, despite everything, we continue to live our life of dissatisfaction. So being thankful for whatever we have received, nature starts giving 
more to us. I always give an example. Suppose you went to a milkman and you took a two liters vessel and asked him to give you five liters of milk. Will he be able to give? No. The milkman will say, go home and bring five liters vessel. I'll give you five liters of milk. That means nature is blessing everyone. But each person is getting whatever he deserves in his life. So spiritual health means increasing your worthiness. So by being thankful for whatever we have got in life, we start living in accordance with the life, accordance with the nature and the level of our spiritual health improves. Until now, we understood the term health. Although the WHO has clearly given these four aspects or pointers to perfect health, but they have not given us any system through which we can attain such a type of perfect health. They have not developed any methodology through which we can attain such a higher level of total perfect health. Today, many medical systems are prevalent all over the world. All medical methods are complete in themselves. Some medical methods give very effective results at the physical level, but we do not become healthy at the mental and social level. That means no treatment method has been able to make us healthy at physical, mental and spiritual levels. That is why today, despite so much progress in science, there is a saturation visible in the terms of health. So what could be the treatment or a system that can give us complete health at these four levels? We want to be healthy at all these four levels. We will have to understand our existence beyond just body and mind. Well, we will have to know ourselves from the perspective of health. Who am I? What is my existence? What is the purpose of my life? Total health, I mean a complete health, is only if we understand all the dimensions given by the nature. Understanding our true nature only can help us to achieve the complete health. Otherwise, a complete health will remain a distant dream. Therefore, to attain complete health, we need to study this novel path that is Shivambu therapy.